Good morning, people. So, I've got a very interesting challenge today. I have been... I want to say asked to make a video where I shoot all my food for 24 hours. I was like, that's going to be easy. Um, and then the guy started putting down rules. I'm allowed five dots, no more than five dots. I was like, still doable. And then he said, I'm only allowed to hunt game birds. So game birds are like things like dove, quail, guinea fowl, Franklin. He's made my life hard misery. Anyway, I'm gonna go have a cup of coffee and one last rusk and then we can get to the video. So it is currently seven o'clock. I will be eating again breakfast tomorrow at 8 o'clock and uh, that's my grub I've got. This will be my last food for 24 hours unless I shoot something, which of course I will. Got it! It's hit, it's hit, it's hit. Watch it, watch it, watch it. There it goes down! Yes! Hey! Yes! Finally, my first common quail with a blowgun. Drop it. Drop it. Nicely. Oh, look at that. Beautiful, man. Ha! Huh. Just driving along and there they were. Really, really nice. Dog jumped out the vehicle immediately. He wanted to go fetch it for me. Can't believe I got that those colors so this is the common quail I've actually never taken the species with a blowgun before nice little cock this is as big as they get awesome that has to be one of the prettiest birds I've hunted this year just look at those beautiful beautiful feathers can't believe I got one definitely definitely gonna get eaten today Okay guys, long story short, I got that one quail um, and then from then on I was really struggling to find birds so I'm going to head back down to the house I'm going to continue this video at the house and yeah, hopefully get some more birds Quail are right here Got it! Got it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Catch it, girl! Catch it! Catch it! Didn't go far enough. birds. My dog's found a trace of blood over there. Look, and there's the bird. See, there's the blood and the bird's in here. Nicely, 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 nicely. Perfect, man. Yes. 
Okay, so this is the first day I've actually managed to shoot some of these quail. They are quite common out here. But yes, good girl, good girl, high five, high five, good girl. Perfect. So this is my first meal, first bird for my meal. There we are. It's beautiful, eh? Look at those colors on that bird. One of the prettiest birds we have out here by a long way. If I can just get another two or three of these, I'll have enough meal for myself. Just moved into the area. They're going to start breeding in the next few weeks um, in this area. Um, so they haven't got chicks yet, but give them a week or two and they'll start laying their eggs and having chicks. This is a hen. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Perfect. Good girl. Would have never found it without you, girl. That's why you have a dog. Look at those colors. I don't know if you guys, it's coming across on the camera, but that is extremely pretty. There goes a little Steenbocky. Beautiful. Oh, lovely sight. There goes another one. So they pair for life. That's why they're two together here. People wonder why I chose the color dog I did. Because it blends in with a car. Properly, properly blends in with a car. Hey girl. All right guys, so the time is now half past 10. Um, hunting this morning wasn't as nice as it usually is on the farm. Um, so I lost two darts. I'm down to three darts. Um, and I got two birds. Two birds in total. So, you know, both of them are luckily quail. So they are bite-sized birds, but it is 10 o'clock. And I am already feeling hungry. I will shoot you and eat you if I have a half a chance. Didn't hang around to be shot and eaten. Where is it? Is it done? Or not, there is actually a dove in the roof. I try to shoot it, like in the gap. Not sure if that was a hit. The dart certainly stayed there. See, there's actually the tail of the dove and the dart. Just grab it and pull it out. It's a young bird, but uh, yeah, third bird of the day. Got it. That was such a good hit. That was such a good hit. And somehow, maybe it went through the tail feathers. I don't know. That was a solid hit. I have to look at that footage again. Guys, so the reason I'm back at the house is because at the end of the day, the one I shot early this morning, I wanted to fetch him. Um, he's dried out actually quite a bit more than I thought he would. And uh, I also want to just take these feathers for my fly tying as well. I'm just going to chuck these feathers into a, into a bucket. They are look, they look so nice for fly tying. I'll definitely be using them when I do go fishing. But in the meantime, I just, I just store them for now. tempted just to take the whole wing why not just take the whole wing off and this side too
I'll dry those out later properly. It's just, ah, it's tearing. All I'm doing is I'm just plucking this bird, getting rid of all the feathers from all over the bird. Okay. Alright. Now what we've got is we've got three birds. Beautiful. No, leave. You are pesky today, you know that. Where's my fire starter? Come on, there we go, it's taking, yes, it's taking. <laughs> so it's taken the small sticks then it will take, which it has done gloriously. going to what I am going to do is the big birds gonna go on first because at the end of the day he will take the longest to cook I'll just push him on and that doesn't look nice or sound nice but there we are that will be held like that hungry so I'm actually just gonna start this already I like the way that's looking like a slow rotisserie oh, that's that stuff's looking nice starting to make me hungry haven't eaten since this morning Let's see what's happening with this almost finished almost cooked huh? I think some of this is done I'm not saying they're all done this is definitely definitely done look at that beautiful beautiful leg actually really good I'll give you the foot this is actually not bad at all I don't think the middle part is done there's your foot That is actually really nice meat. I'm, I'm, I'm not kidding. This is, this is, this is better than I expected from the quail. I still need a little bit more time. I think for the most part, these things are done. This quail. I mean that 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 back half is definitely done. Born up a tree. Oh, 
this is good. If you haven't eaten all day, you get this. There we go. This quail is actually really, really good. Um, I think if we had to hunt some more of these, it would not be a bad idea. Because without you, I wouldn't have found that other quail. That piece is yours. Mm. It's good, eh? Enjoy it. Because this one's all mine. Recently hot winter's day, there's a nice whirlwind going through the maze, picking up all the leaves. Don't know if you're going to manage to pick it up on your thing, but they go very, very high. See, this is why it's very important to have your um, fire away from where the grass is. Look how far that stuff's blowing. Now, if I had it close to that grass there, with this wind blowing the ash like that, could easily end up with a little hot piece of ash. Look at that. Always, always, always make your fire in a safe place because otherwise it will burn the whole farm down. Now, technically I've eaten enough meat for now, so I wouldn't really need to eat this. But that being said, I've cooked it already and I may as well not keep it for later. Beautifully cooked, got that beautiful gray meat. Mm, it's really good. And that is done. Whenever cleaning up, remember, you can always just use some sand to clean up your hands, get rid of the oil. And then remember also, you want to kill your fire completely. You don't want any, any, any embers, any smoldering. So what I usually do, I'll put that all like that pile all the burning sticks into a pile and then I'll just cover them with sand and that for one I can come back and restart this fire if needed and for two it usually just smothers the fire very quickly and that there is us done that was really really nice let's go hunt some more Got it! Got it! Catch it! Catch it! Catch it! That dove is going nowhere! Hey! hey. Yes! Come! Yeah! Good girl! Did you, I hope you didn't poke yourself with a dart. Drop it! Good girl! Drop! Good girl! Yes! Got it! Little Namakwa dove! Number one for today! Second one I've ever killed with a blowgun. This is a young bird, but oh, look, still got those beautiful wings. So there's my first bird for dinner. My first shot after eating that meal. Got a bird. Nailed it. You know what the nicest thing about that whole thing was? I got to keep the dart. <laughs> the dart. I've still got the dart. Still got three darts. And an extra bird. Beautiful. Ah, oh, flew, I got out the way of the dart. Just up at the top. Stay, stay, stay. Stay.
got it. Got it. Got one. Got one. That's one down. And the other one's flying off. First dart shot just over the top. Stay, stay, stay. Second dart, I clip this guy on the head. Oh, stay, 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 stay. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect little shot. Beautiful. Let's go pick up my two darts. There's the one dart, there's the other dart. So I'm back up to three darts. And I got this beauty. Beautiful, beautiful. Down he goes. Stay, 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 stay. I actually want that bird. Stay, stay, stay. All right, guys. So I'm going to end this challenge here just because at the end of the day, we've just killed so many birds. The time is now 13.21. Um, I still actually have three darts. Um, from those from those five I originally started with I've still got three and then there are my extra birds this would be more than enough for dinner for myself so yeah at the end of the day I'm not going to show you how I cook them because at the end of the day I've shown you already how I cook the other ones but um, yeah anyway what can you do with five dots <laughs> have a great rest of your day guys god bless if you have not done so please hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you guys in a week's time